<clears throat> Let's touch on uh, Tom Brady. The question that the person poses is, will any quarterback ever threaten Brady's legacy? It says, let's be clear here. There isn't a quarterback playing right now who is going to surpass what Brady did over the last 22 years. Along with those seven Super Bowl rings, he holds the NFL records for most career completions, pass attempts, passing yards, and touchdown passes. Mahomes is the man often mentioned of being able to chase down Brady, and even he would have a huge challenge on his hands. At this point, the 26-year-old Mahomes would need to average 4,300 passing yards and 32 touchdowns per season for the next 15 years. And that's just to tie Brady's career marks. He'd have to win the Super Bowl every other year during that time to beat Brady on championships. That's not happening. Mahomes has the talent, as do other young star quarterbacks, the more salient factors to consider are whether a player possesses the desire to keep grinding well into their 40s, along with the good fortune to avoid other major injuries that snap, snap their skills over time. Look at how Big Ben was playing in his final season in Pittsburgh or how limited Peyton Manning was when he finished his career with a Super Bowl 50 win over, uh, in Denver. Neither man had even reached 40 years at that point. That's mm. crazy. Mm. They weren't even 40. He did a four extra years yeah. past 40. The greatness of Brady isn't just about numbers or the rings. It's that he... It's what drove him to a place where he would play this long without ever really declining. And it is crazy that, like, he he went out on top, and it's because he was not going to play a season if he wasn't at his very best. Right. That TB12 conditioning that he does has yeah, got to we'll, be something crazy. Yeah, we might learn a little something about that later. That, that diet and exercise he was on, crazy. Him and LeBron James, the two most sustainable men to ever play the game. And it is crazy. Like, everyone... And people probably still think this, that Mahomes is going to pass Brady as a GOAT. But I think along with being just absolutely freakish in the quarterback play, he'll have to approach him or pass him in rings. And I feel like he's, I think he may have already lost his opportunity to do that. They went to four straight AFC Championship games, went to two Super Bowls from that. Yeah. Yeah, two Super Bowls. And two is only two playoff losses before this week were to Brady too, so... <sighs> You would have had to beat the goat twice to get a little start on catching him. Now we got baby goat Burrow. Baby, yeah. uh, hey, Burrow in his second year, if he gets a Super Bowl against the Rams, and he on a better track. So it's just crazy that Brady went to 10 Super Bowls in 22 years. That is nearly a Super Bowl every other year. And he won a Super Bowl every, pretty much every three years. What? insane like it doesn't looking back on there was a big gap there where they didn't win but looking back on it it doesn't seem like yeah it feels like they were there every single time he won us won a super bowl every three years insane but, then, but a lot of people are ecstatic that this man's finally retiring because now falcons fans for some reason think they're about to dominate that division now that brady's out of there um and people just i Personally, I'm ready to see new teams be in the conference championships and in the Super Bowl. And I'm hoping that Mahomes doesn't take the place of Brady because I need some sort of change in the, in the teams that make it this far. 